Let's talk about fish. In this video, I'm going to show you the different gameplay systems around fish. First, let's start with catching fish. But the most basic method to catch fish, and I think the most fun one, is to get a spear and catch it in the river. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create yourself a spear. You need two sticks. Need sticks, duct tape, and a knife to sharpen. Okay, now, now you have to find a place where you can find fish. Now, I'm, this river here this has a lot of fish inside. And this river is about... It is winding river that leads into the larger river. And it's not really that far from the helicopter crash. Okay, now we located a lot of fish here. All you have to do is line up a nice... Line up your view and... That one. Now if you hold E, he's going to eat the fish. And if you press E, he's going to put a fish in the end in the inventory. I think it's a really fun gameplay activity because it actually uses, makes you use your, your own depth perception and it doesn't spoon feed you all the systems. Like you don't get a hard interface telling you when to click or something. Just you and your own player skill. Now you might wonder, what if you're too lazy to go spare fishing? Perhaps you could use something else. Perhaps something like a hand grenade. Now let's see if hand grenade fishing works in this game. Okay, there's, a, there's some fish, let's see if this works. As you can see, you can hand grenade fish in this game too. Some gameplay systems um, about fish are currently extremely buggy or dysfunctional. For example, you might have seen these fish trying to jump upstream. However, you cannot catch these fish. They appear to be just an environmental effect. As you can see, like they spawn over here and then they disappear. And I tried any weapon I had in my inventory to catch them in here and it didn't work. But there's no way to currently catch them like this. Then the last way to catch fish, in case you don't want to do it yourself, you can tell Kelvin to do it. Which is a great way to catch fish, because sometimes if, when you're busy building bases or you're fighting cannibals, he's going to provide you with a fish. So for that, all you have to do is to go to Kelvin. And you tell him to catch fish. So you tell him, get fish. And... You have the option to follow me, drop here, give it to me. Now if you tell him to give to me, then he will catch fish and f walk back to you wherever you are and bring you the fish and drop it in front of you. And drop here means he will drop them at the place where you, where you last gave the command. And there's another option to um, fill holder, which is not visible right now. If you have a, f a drying rack in the proximity of where you give the order, then he will bring the fish to the drying rack and put it in. Let's say, give it to me. But what's interesting is that when Kelvin is ordered to catch fish, he can catch fish where you as a player cannot find fish. Which means all he needs is proximity, I think it's probably 100, 200 meters radius from the position you give the command. There has to be a river. See, you got your fish, and I was going to bring it to me. And he gives me the fish. 
And if you're too far away from a source where he, he might find fish, then you don't even have the option to um, tell him to get fish. Okay, now let's talk about eating fish. It's currently completely safe to eat raw fish in the game. And eating one raw fish fills up about half your food meter, which is good enough for, I think, an entire day of uh, activity. Okay, now I'd like to show you how to process fish. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you press B to open the book. And if you haven't noticed yet, um, the book uh, works in two modes. You have the, the right mode, which is placing objects. And those are mostly organic building systems, which means you place one item at a time and you have um, sort of a freeform way of building things. Then you hold X and it switches to the left side. And those are preset buildings. Let's, for example, let's say I want to go to storage over here. That's, that's a storage icon. The next leaf, the next one drying rack. You click on it, then you see a ghost outline. And then you put it where you want to have it. Let's say we put it up here. Now all you have to do is press E a few times to add the materials and the object is done. As I mentioned before, um, when you want to tell him to bring you the fish to the drying rack, you go get fish and It doesn't recognize it that it's there yet, probably because it just built it. Okay, let's just leave it alone. I think the game might need a few seconds or minutes to update the AI that there's a drying rack. Okay, now let's talk about cooking fish and drying fish. So if you have a drying rack over here, you approach it, and you can take a raw fish, and it's in a drying rack. And it can take I'm not sure what the exact time is, but it can take more, I think more than at least half a day for a fish to turn dried. I haven't measured the time exactly. And when the fish is dried, the texture changes to a light brown. And the next thing you can do is also cook a fish. So let's approach the campfire like this. I put the raw fish in, and the moment I put it in, it will take 33 seconds for the fish to turn cooked. And it will take another 33 seconds for it to turn burnt. Okay, now the fish is cooked. I'm going to wait another 33 seconds for it to be burnt. And now we got a burnt fish. Let's see what happens if we eat a burnt fish. Now cooked fish has high nutritional value. Well, let's see what happens if we eat a burnt fish. As you can see in the food meter, it has nutritional value, however, you lose some hydration. So I think this was all about fish, as it is in the current version of the game, and I hope this was useful to watch.